Welcome back to Math with Pistachio McMathio. Today Pistachio is going to be playing with her toys with you. Here she is playing with her toys in the living room. She tosses them around and then she plays with her toys in the bedroom. She can go on like this forever, just carrying her toys back and forth. Back and forth, back and forth. But what happens when it's time to clean up and I have to figure out where they all are? Well, first I have to figure out how many there are. So let's count them. Let's see. She has one sloth, two dolphin, three dumpling, four banana, five gummy bear, and six snowflake, six toys. If Pistachio starts with all six of her toys in the basket, then she can take them all out and she can either put them in the living room on the carpet or in the bedroom on the bed. But every day she could put a different number of toys on the carpet or in the bed. Let's figure out all of the ways she could break up her six toys by using a number tree. Here you're going to start with all six of your toys in one group. That's the whole, the group of six. Then you're going to make four different number trees to show all the different ways you can make six. You can put six in the top part of each of them to show where you're going to start. I broke six up into two groups. I put them in two different places. Now I can write how many is in each group. Three and three. Three and three make six. Now I'm going to change my groups. In one I have two, and in one I have four. So I'll write that down in my next number tree. I change them again and write the numbers to match each time. One and five. Mm, here's my favorite with that tricky zero. I have them all over here. So now I made six by making a group of zero and a group of six. All week long, you're going to use a number tree to start with a whole big number like 6 or 7 or 8 and see what kinds of different parts you can break it up into. Can't wait to see your work. Thanks for helping us, Pistachio. See you later.